If you play American style and play in tournaments, you know they have prizes. Usually it's a prize for the first hand in a category or maybe a specific hand on the card. If you want to try for those prizes, get your set out and try Charleston Force. Another nice thing about Charleston Force is you can train yourself to play the whole card. It's funny how people tend to avoid certain categories. This exercise can combat that tendency. If you're a beginner or you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel and click the bell when you do. That way you get notification for when I post new videos. Let's do some Charleston Force. I have a strip for every category on the card. I'm going to turn them upside down and we'll pick three. We'll do three random pulls and force hands in those categories like numbers. Two, four, six, eight, singles and pairs. Let's give this a try. We'll just say we're the dealer for these exercises. So I'm gonna take 14 random tiles I'm going to create a mock Charleston. This is to simulate the tiles that you would get in a Charleston pass. It's not an exact replica of what you would experience in a game. It's just for practice. So let's see what we can do with this first random pull. Sorry about the glare. Can you even see them that way? Look at that. Oh. Oh. Okay, let's go this way. I hope that's okay for you. All right, here we go. Oh. Like numbers, two, four, six, eight, singles and pairs. Look at this two, three. Two, three. I think we should force a single and pair hand. We're going to have to get rid of that joker. But look at what we have. Two, three, two, three. Two, three, two, three. Singles and pairs. We could also do either like numbers with twos or threes. So let's pass these three. We're going to try to force a single and pair hand. There's a two. That's not going to be helpful though. We don't need three. Now we could maybe play something two, four, six, eight, single and pair. And two, four, six, eight is in that. Let's pass those two and make a decision. Let's give up the six dot. Because we could still play two, four, six, eight. We could still play like numbers too. Let's give these up. There's a two. Let's give up the evens and pass these three. Flower. Now we have like numbers. Let's give up the two. We only need a pair. We'll give up these three. We really need a two dot and a three dot. Let's pass these three.
Oh, like numbers. We got to break that up. Passing like numbers is almost as bad as passing a pair. Very risky. Let's hope for a two dot or a three dot. Oh, but we did get a two crack here and a three crack, a three bam. We could switch to like numbers and we have like numbers to pass. If we played like numbers, we could use the joker. So let's count what we have towards the single and pair hand. Two, four, six, eight, nine. We have a big gap of no three dot. Let's count like numbers with twos. Seven, eight. We can count the joker because with the joker we couldn't use that in singles and pairs. So we have eight towards like numbers. We have five in twos and only four in threes. So I think I think I would pass one blind and give up on the threes, leverage these multiples here and play like numbers. Let's pass one blind. We got a two. Wrong dragon. So we have five discards, but the nice thing here is we can Kong the two, Kong this two. We need flowers. We could play like numbers with six flowers. I think that's what I would attempt. Or if we drew a white dragon, we could play like numbers with the dragon. So I think that was not bad for forcing a hand. Four discards is better, but we do have joker bait. I think what I would do is discard these first and then hope that we could maybe get some jokers out of those threes. If somebody claims a discard with a joker, we could use these to get a joker back into our hand during the pick and discard phase of the game. So that was not too bad. Let me know if you would have done something differently. Like numbers is what we ended up with here. So let's force two, four, six, eight in singles and pairs. We have a joker and a pair of flowers. This is very similar to what we had before. And consecutive too. We have a white dragon here now. Okay, singles and pairs or two, four, six, eight. We do have a nine bam. We could maybe play the eight, nine, single and pair hand, or we could play, oh, I'd like to leverage these flowers. Eight, nine. The only hand we could play with the flowers and the nines in the singles and pairs category would be eight, nine, eight, nine, eight, nine, eight, nine, three suits. So let's keep the white. I think that's just as risky as passing a flower. I try not to do that ever. We could still leverage these flowers and play a two, four, six, eight. So let's hold the evens. We have tiles we can pass. This is not too bad of a pass. So let's see what we get. A flower. We need singles and pairs. We won't be able to use those, but here we have two, four, eight. 
with four flowers. We could use the, the joker with that six band that's missing. Let's give up on these nines. Let's break it up now. Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's break that up. Okay, here we go. We're going to switch to 2468. There's a white dragon. That'll be good joker bait. Or we could play, well, no, we want to leverage these flowers. Let's stick with the 2468 and use these as joker bait. Let's pass those three. There's a four. And let's pass these three. We could pass these three, four, five, six. It's a little better to do four, six, seven. Two evens and an odd. There's another flower. That's why I don't like to pass flowers. And we have tiles to pass. Green Dragon. Let's pass these three. Four dot, okay. One dot, seven bam. We can pass those. That's a pretty good pass, actually. So we're going to pass three for optional cross. I don't think there's anything in here, but we'll just go through those motions. So we ended up with three discards and joker bait. We can use this for the gap. Four flowers, single two, pair of fours. We need a pung of six bams and a kong of eight bams. So we're a bit light over here. We would have to draw pretty well, but we might be able to get a little bit of joker bait to help out. So in this case, we forced a... 2468 hand. If you would have done something differently, in the comment section write force two and what you would have done differently. Let's do the last one. We've got a force of singles and pairs. I hope I don't get any jokers. All this time I've only gotten one joker. Let's hope for no jokers. Okay, singles and pairs. We're going to make it happen. And we got two jokers. Oh, shoot. They got to go. Those will go during the pick and discard phase of the game. I'm thinking news with fours. We could leverage these fours. So we'll hold on to those. Let's pass... A two, a nine, and a one. We'll pass those. We're looking for fours and wins. There's a north. Uh-oh. We're in trouble. I'm wondering if we should maybe play four, five. Let's count. We're in between. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven towards four, five consecutive. This is a second from the bottom, seven. If we played news with fours, we have the same number. We have gaps all around. We have no three dot, no three, let's see. Yeah, we have no five dot, we have no four bam. So it's just a matter of how does it feel? How does it feel? I think what I would do is I would give up the wins because we could always fall back on something consecutive with the jokers if the hand falls through. Let's pass these three. Discards. Let's break up these wins. Pass three. We're looking for fours and fives. 
no keepers and we got a wind in there another wind i think that wind and dragon hand would have been a better choice exchange that oh here we go there's a four and a five nice okay so we have now four five we need four bams badly and a three dot or a five dot so let's i do not want to pass two dragons that's almost as bad as passing like numbers especially if you think about the big year hand on the bottom i would break that up and pass one blind this is a handicap if you're playing a pair hand we have fewer tiles to work with okay so we have three discards well really five discards which is not too bad if you consider we had a handicap although i think the news hand might have come in better singles and pairs four five the second from the bottom under singles and pairs five discards and safe discards <laughs> nobody can pick up jokers i am just curious to see if the news and fours hand would have been better i'm just going to take a peek let's see here's so we would have had too many Souths. We had news. No other fours in here. No other fours. So we would have had one, let's see, we would have had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine tiles versus nine, even. So this was not bad. I was thinking the news with fours would have been better, but it's equal as far as the result. That was kind of interesting. If you haven't tried this exercise before, give it a try and let me know how it goes for you. Especially if you play in tournaments, I think it's great practice for forcing a hand. It always feels nice to walk home with a gift or a prize, really, if you're playing in a tournament. That's a prize. I like prizes. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, consider subscribing and click the bell when you do so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss out on any opportunities to learn a new exercise. Maybe learn a new strategy in the game that'll give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next Charleston Force for American Style, may all your picks be keepers.